In the U.S., COVID-19 isn't stopping the Republicans on two fronts tonight. U.S. President Donald Trump is preparing for several campaign rallies this week after his doctors declared him no longer a transmission risk. And battle lines are being drawn as the Senate Judiciary Committee prepares for hearings to confirm Judge Amy Coney Barrett to the Supreme Court. Jennifer Johnson has more. The stage is set for a showdown between Senate Republicans and Democrats over confirming Judge Amy Coney Barrett to the U.S. Supreme Court. Democrats argue the next high court justice, a lifetime appointment, should be picked by the president elected November 3rd. Early voting has already begun in several states. She is being sent on assignment to the Supreme Court by President Trump, and we know what that assignment is, eliminate the Affordable Care Act. Democrats fear the Capitol Hill hearing could become another super spreader. Two of the Judiciary Committee members, Senators Mike Lee and Tom Tillis, tested positive for the virus after attending Coney Barrett's nomination ceremony at the White House two weeks ago. Senate Republicans will follow the guidance, the medical guidance of the Capitol physician. Barrett is expected to be grilled on her conservative stances on abortion and same-sex marriage. I'm feeling great. I don't know about you. How is everyone feeling? Barrett will be in the hot seat as the White House releases a letter from the president's physician, saying he's no longer a transmission risk for COVID-19, but not saying if he's tested negative for the virus. I'm immune, so, uh, so the uh, president is in very good shape to fight the battle. On Saturday, new COVID-19 cases hit their highest mark since August, record numbers reported in six states. What we thought might be just a bump after Labor Day clearly is a resurgence in the virus heading into the fall and the winter. You've seen cases build across the entire country. There's now about 15 states with a positivity rate above 10 percent. While on the campaign trail, Democratic candidate Joe Biden has blasted President Trump for downplaying the pandemic. We lose anywhere from 700 to 1,000 people a day dead. Thank you, Kevin. But the newly invigorated president will take his message not to fear the virus to his base at rallies planned this week in key swing states. Jennifer Johnson, Global News, Washington. The U.S. is now no longer the only country in the world to have more than 7 million confirmed cases of COVID-19. India reached the grim milestone today, adding another 74,000 cases in the last 24 hours. India is on track to surpass the U.S. to become the pandemic's worst hit country in the coming weeks. Experts say the true number of infections may be much higher because testing rates are lower in India than in many other countries. People living in England are bracing for tighter COVID-19 restrictions. The country's prime minister is expected to back a new three-tier local lockdown system tomorrow. It can force pubs and restaurants in pandemic hotspots to temporarily close. England's deputy chief medical health officer says the UK is now at a tipping point. Without action, there's fear UK hospitals will be overwhelmed in the coming weeks.